A sheet of paper is typically 8.5 inches by 11 inches. It's a rectangle and its orientation is determined by the position of the longer side. Most of the pages you print or read are taller than they are wide, but you can change the page orientation of your documents if you feel the content would be easier to read or more attractive on a wider page. Page orientation can be either portrait or landscape. The default setting in Microsoft Word is portrait, which gets its name from the taller, more vertical framing an artist uses for a portrait painting. Landscape is wider and more horizontal, like the wide screen framing of an outdoor scene. You've created a sales chart in your document, but it's too wide for the page. To ensure the document prints with the entire chart visible, you're going to change the page orientation to reveal it. As you can see from the partial border, a portion of this chart is cut off on the right. We don't want to make the chart any smaller because it may become difficult to read. To make the whole chart viewable, we have to change the page orientation. Let's start by opening the Page Layout tab. The Page Layout tab offers many ways to change the appearance of your document, but we need the settings in the Page Setup group because they change the document's foundation. These are global settings that affect the entire document or section, settings such as the size of the page it will be printed on and the width of the margins. We want to change the orientation of the page, so let's use the Orientation button. The Orientation button reveals two choices. The default, Portrait, is currently selected, so let's choose Landscape to change this page to a horizontal layout. Now that we're in landscape orientation, we can see all of the information in the chart, and it fills the entire page. To see the effect of the change more clearly, let's look at the print preview. We'll first need to click the File tab to go to the Backstage view. The Backstage view is a new feature of Office 2010, and it offers a different way of looking at things. It hides the editable version of your document and lets you see what's under the hood. We want to see how the chart will look when printed, so let's click Print in the left section. That opened the printing information. With Print options in the left section and a Print Preview on the right, we have everything we need to ensure this chart prints out nicely. If you are unsure about your orientation change, you can compare the options in the Preview area before you print. Let's give it a quick look. This displays our orientation options again. To see a preview of the alternative, we'll return to Portrait Orientation. The Print Preview section confirms our original choice. The chart is cut off in Portrait, so let's change it back to Landscape. We'll just need to reverse the steps we just took. As we can see in the preview, the entire chart is visible once again. Page orientation radically alters the foundation of your document. The next time things don't fit on a page, try changing the page's orientation instead of the content size. You and your readers may be happier with the results.